Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are going to be going over support and resistance, the number one technique if you want to become a good trader. The number one. I have used it many times if we are day trading, swing trading, um, going long on a stock for a while. This is the number one trick to really succeed. Um, a couple things. I'm going to start doing some more of these educational videos probably twice a week. I'm going to put them in a folder um, for people. I feel like I do a pretty good job of explaining um we are also going to i was also going to tell you guys thank you for blowing up my um, last video wish that was um awesome um i think i got a thousand viewers in 24 hours so thank you for that i'm going to keep this short simple and effective today okay so support and resistance so support is where well, let me delete these lines first i don't know why they're on here probably because I actually used them before. Um, so support is where the price usually um, bounces back off. So this is Amazon for like the last year and a half. So we can see right here, price has been bouncing back. And if, it, if the price goes down here, it bounces off. So that is our support. And we're gonna go over a couple of charts. So that is support. And we can see resistance is where the stock is having a very hard time breaking over. So ignore this, but look at here, one, two, three. So we have our support and resistance. Now, how I like to trade stocks is I will never, ever, 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 ever buy a stock that is not at support. See what I mean? Um, oh, let me explain. Let's say that I've seen two right here. Let's say we're in, we're on what? April, March, or wherever this candle was. Um, you know, so let's see, I come back to here and I say, it bounced off at this level twice, one, two times. I'm gonna make a alert for myself when it gets at 2,900, I am going to buy right there. And then right, this is, this is with support. If it breaks the support, so if this was to break, you know, 2870, then that's where your stop loss goes. So I'm only gonna lose about a percent on this trade if I buy next to support. Now let's say if it jumps off of support, which it did, and I did do this trade. Well, look, look how far we have up to resistance. We have a f almost five, about $600 of profit from one share. So that um, six, 600 divided by 30 is about, I don't know what, or about 6%. So I'm giving a six to one risk ratio. And that's because I am buying close to support and I'm putting my stop loss right underneath. Resistance is kind of tricky. You could say, Austin, well, what happened right here? This broke through resistance. Well, that's because we had a strong base up here. But um, let's just say resistance, you sell half right at resistance and maybe you wait a little bit and see if it breaks over and sell rest. That, the, the hard part's not selling. The hard part is waiting to buy a stock at support. And I'm telling you guys, there is thousands of tickers out there. All you have to do is be patient and buy at support and sell at resistance. If you if you buy at support and your stop loss, you lose half a percent on a trade, who cares? I mean, you know, obviously it adds up, but what I'm trying to tell you guys is that um, you have to be buying stocks at support. So let's, I hope you guys kind of got a general idea of that. Let's go to some other ones. Let's go, I'm trying to give some very big, um, understandings here. Let's go at ARC and let's look at this. Okay. This is a channel. Okay. It's easy to draw the lines right now, but you could have off of like these four, if you just made them connect, you could have too. So we're by it, we could be by it support and we sell it resistance. Okay, same thing with here. Um, I wanna look, if I can find my phone next to me, I wanna look at some live stocks today that are moving pretty quickly. So that are in an uptrend. You can do this on a one minute chart as well. So let's look at square, this works. We can probably go to the one minute and we can find support and resistance. Okay, so we could have looked, let's do something live right now. I wish it was an uptrend, but we can say, let's pretend we are going short. So I'm gonna draw, we always draw our trend lines. Okay, this is. these are great trend lines. So let's say we're gonna scalp this. 
we're gonna scalp this. So all I'm doing is drawing these lines. They all connect at the top, all connect at the bottom. So now we have our support resistance lines. Look at look at look at look how beautiful these are, right? So if we're looking to go short on this stock, we wait till it comes up here. We go short. We buy back here. Now, I want to come back to this video. I guarantee you, Square, it's going to come down here, bounce back off. So you can, we could go long right here for, let's say, 100 shares. Comes back up here. You know, that's a it's going to be big profit. And that's on the one-minute time frame. So you could do this on the one-minute time frame and the one-day time frame. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter. So let, we could take a look back at this. And, you know, if this stock never gets down to this, you know, support level, then we're not going to buy it because I want to put a stop loss right underneath it right underneath it so i'm um, saving myself we don't buy a stock that's in the middle of its trading channel um now let's go to i think this had a really good for a while oh, we need to go to the one year one day same thing with this look at this mm. for the first few months we could have done the same thing yeah kind of hard that is a really good falling wedge though if anyone's ever holding <laughs> um so this looks like a you know we could have even used it in here support resistance i, I want to go back to square so what i'm saying is some of these stocks aren't going to have the most perfect setups right so we are going to have to um you know wait for the perfect one like square if this drops down bam i could i could go long right here when it comes down here um let's look at another stock that i think is moving today um oh i have my phone right here let me look at what is moving today amd amd is moving pretty well amd perfect support which are support resistance lines I can't use the the really the resistance lines hard. We can use this as a judge, but look at the support line right here. We could buy. We can go long right here at one twelve, and we can go. You know, we could buy right on this. Put the stop loss right underneath. Now let's look at if we're gonna go long on the one day. So um, let's look at the video. Okay, um, now we can always look at support and resistance zones on the one day too. So if we are trading a stock and I wanna go to the 20, 20 day, one hour, this would be a little bit easier for me. So let's, so we can clearly see, we can put out our support and resistance, not if we're just day trading, but look. So we're looking at this 20, this one hour chart Clearly we have resistance up here. Look, the stock tried one, two, almost three, four, five times. So that is resistance up there. So this is a, also another good idea. Let's say that we break this resistance line up here. It'd be a good time to go long, huh? If we could actually stay over this with a one hour candle, that's a good time to go long. We push the resistance and we're gonna have our next leg up. Um, support, let's look, I'm trying to look at a good idea for support. Um, I don't know, I'm just going ticker to ticker to show you guys that this is like not, you guys can do this for any chart. Okay, Palantir. here. Look at this, we have, this is really good. So look at this, support on the one day, we have a bounced off one, two, three, four times off of this. So if we ever get down to $20.76, $20 we buy, put stop loss right underneath. So I showed you, let's go back to Square because I want to see if that if our play was going to play out. Um, nope, looks like not, so we're not going to try. And then, um, what was the other one? AMD, let's see if we could. Okay, so look, um, AMD looks like we're about to hit there. Um, I guarantee you, we've bounced off a couple times, so... Once we hit once we hit this, you know, right in here at 112, one twelve, about one thirteen, we go long and we wait for that next, um, you know, up to hit to you know somewhere up here. So I hope you guys kind of got a general understanding of this support resistance. I could do another video if you guys like. Um, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. I'm gonna be putting out a lot more content for you guys. Let me know if there's anything I could change. 
Um, also, look if you've seen this video, look back at Square, see if this played out. Um, you know, most of these plays end up playing out. That's how I make a lot of the money is just using support and resistance lines. It's not very hard. Go through chart through chart, you know, and put your resistance, your support lines, and I guarantee you after a couple of them, you will get the hang of it. Um, at AMD right now, it's still not hit our line, but it would be a good time to go long here. I'd say about 112.95. So let's just, we could look for a second and see how this plays out. Um, well, I'm gonna cut the video here. That would take an extra few minutes. But so right here, um, look at these support, great support, bam, bam, bam. I am buy, I'm a buyer right here at 112.91. Then I'll put my stop loss at 112.84. So look, we buy right here. Look at already and see if it bounces off. Look, we already have a we already have, already have a ham, hammer forming here, a hammer on the one minute. So, um, you know, who knows how this plays out, but um, I guarantee you this bounces back off. You guys can check later. Um, but yeah, have a good one, guys. I hope this video was educational to you. Um, it's gonna bounce right off there. Look how perfect that is. <laughs> um, have a good one, guys.